Release the Kraken! Greetings fellow game designers, Ron here at Lame Duck Studios. And today, we're going to be modeling Jill and Leon from Resident Evil. Now, of course, these aren't exactly Jill, and this is not exactly Leon for copyright purposes, but it should do well enough for our needs. So, without further ado, we're going to take our references and jump into Maya. Okay, so here we are, we're in Maya. We're going to be in a new project. Jump onto your poly modeling and add on a plane. And press F to frame on that. There's our wonderful plane. Come over to polyplane one. And we want to adjust this. So I'm going to take the subdivisions width and height. I'll set that to one. And then we want to make this the same resolution as our image. So I'll jump into my Photoshop file here. I'll go up to image, come down to um, image size here. Let's change this from pixels to centimeters. And Jill is 4364 and 4191. So 4364 and 41, what was that, 91? Let me double check. Yes, I'll zoom that out. Let's go up to rendering, add on a Lambert, go to our Lambert 2, and then we'll name this uh, Jill Reference. Then we'll load on the Jill image, so go ahead and hit this, go to File, Folder, and then navigate to wherever you have your image stored. Go ahead and open that. And then select your object, press 6. There is our Jill. Let's go ahead and rotate that, so I'll hold down the J key and I'll rotate forward. So E to get the rotation handle, J to snap rotate. And that should be rotated uh, forward like so, it should be 90 degrees. Now, this is kind of tiny. We want Jill to be about the right height. So let's figure out how tall Jill is. And a quick look here. Uh, according to Google, Jill is five feet, five inches tall. So I'm gonna go into my calculator here. So five feet, so five times 12. That gives us uh, you know, 12 inches and a foot, so it gives us 60 inches plus five inches. So she is 65 inches tall. We're gonna multiply that by 2.54. That's our centimeter conversion. So she is 165.1. I'm actually going to round down to 165. So I jump back into my project here. Go to poly modeling. Let's add in a cube. And then on the poly cube settings, I'll add the height, 165. And we want 165 divided by 2. So 165, we'll divide that by 2. That gets us 82 and a half here. So why do I need half the height? Well, as you can see, it is halfway into the ground. So we want to move this up exactly. So translate Y, and that was 82.5. There we go. That is perfectly um, centered on the ground there. I'll just make it wide enough so I can see. I'll do 64. I will select my image. Let's go to the front view. Press 6. Now we want this to be lined up on the grid here. So I'm going to press the D key. That's going to unlock my handle. I'm going to move that down into the middle here. Looks like this line right here is good. It's lined up with the boot there. You can see that. I'm going to press the D key again to lock it. W to move. I'm going to hold down X to snap to the grid up here. And then I'll hit R to scale. Let's set this to X-ray mode, shading X-ray. And now I'm going to scale from the middle, and I'll scale this up until it's the right height. That looks pretty good. Now remember that Jill is wearing a hat here. So that means her head is actually a little bit inside of this hat. So I can go up a little bit taller. So I'll come back out. And I'll just scale Jill up a little bit more. That's probably pretty good. And there we go. Her feet are good on the floor. It's about the right height. And now all I need to do is split this image because I have two pictures of Jill here. Let me grab my sizing block. I no longer need that. I can delete that. But for Jill, 
to split this, normally you can come over to your polyplane settings here and then add some subdivisions. I need to split one in the middle. But you can see if I do that, it does add it, but it makes Jill kind of tall, um, which we didn't want. It skewed the picture. So I'm going to go up to um, UVs here, UV editor, come here you. And we want to make sure that our UVs didn't get shifted too much. And you can see here, it got shifted off of the uh, top line. So I'm going to go into edge mode. I'll grab this edge. Uh, there we go. We can grab these. Now if Maya's being kind of a jerk, come out here, go to object mode, and just grab this again, and then come back and go to edge mode. Sometimes it doesn't like to select in here. Go ahead and grab these two. Hit the W key. And then hold down X to snap this to the top uh, grid there. So we should have a perfect setup like this. Awesome. I can close these. And now we need to separate these images. So I go to edge mode. I'll grab the middle. Go up to edit mesh. Go down to detach. And these images are attached at the center. So if I go in and grab vertex, we can see that I can move this. And we have two separate pictures, but Maya still treats it as though it's one picture. Okay, we need to run a separation on it. So I'm going to go back just a little bit. Object mode. Let's go up to mesh and then separate. Very good. Let's go ahead and then remove the history. Edit, delete by type, history. And I have two images. But you can see that the widget is dead center here. I really want that to be down at her feet and center of her. So I'm going to go into uh, my front view here. I'm going to select this picture. I'm going to press the D key. I'll hold X and then drag the arrow down. And then I'll let go of X and I'll just move this over. And it actually looks like we have a pretty good center line here. I like that. So I'm going to use that as a guide. So I'm going to hold down the X key as I drag, and I'll just drag that to the center line. That looks perfect. Now this foot's not pointing perfectly straight, but it's OK. We're going to model off the left side. We can press D to lock. Go over to our other image, D to unlock. Hold down X, drag that to the bottom. And then we're going to move this about middle here. So X, I'll drag to the middle. It looks pretty good and then press the D key again to lock that. Awesome. So now we have to adjust these. So this one needs to go center, so X, and then snap it to the middle, and then we will snap it back, some distance back here. We'll grab this one, and we'll X snap that to the end. It doesn't really matter how far you go, we just don't want it to be in the way. We want Jill from our side picture to face down the x-axis, so I'll hit the rotation tool, um, hold down J, and I will rotate this till it's 90 degrees, and you can look over here, my Z is minus 90, looks pretty good. So now we have our images, let's go ahead and select them both, and you can see that Maya was nice enough to put it into a group for us, so I'll go ahead and just hit the drop down on that. Let's name the group, this is going to be our refer references, so ref, I'm then going to take the next one down. This is my front. And then I'll grab the other one. This is my side. Awesome. And now I'm going to take my ref, and I'm going to add that to a layer. So layers, create from selected. Poke the V to make sure it works. If it doesn't work, make sure you select it. Right click on the layer, and then add selected object and then double check. Once it's working, go to the third box and make sure that this is set to R. You have to hit it twice. And now I can't accidentally hit it, which is going to be good because when we're modeling, we don't want to grab our reference image. OK. Now that we have that all set up, let's go ahead and save it. So file, we'll do save as. And do this one as res underscore jill. I'll do 01. There we go, I'll save that. And that will do it for this video. And the next one we'll start working on Jill's torso. Okay, so stay tuned and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, thank you for checking out my channel. Misty and I both thank you. 
If you enjoyed that video you just watched, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Or if you want to support the channel, check me out on Patreon or pick up one of my books, uh, Life of the Times of Dana Martin or The Guardian's Path of Ascension. Speaking of which, I'm converting The Guardians into a graphic novel slash comic book series. Um, here is a sneak peek. My wonderful artist, Patrick, is doing a great job. I'm excited. I want to push this out as soon as possible. So definitely uh, keep your ears and eyes open for that. I, I'll be making announcements as we get closer, and I'll post some, uh, some shots of that as we go. And if you want to follow me on social media, you can check me out on Twitter. I guess now it's X. Who, who does that? Uh, it's BruceRF1 uh, at Twitter or at what, what, whatever the new thing for Twitter is. Anyway, hopefully see you there, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.